Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. Back at it so fast that I don't think it even had time to load in yet. Okay. Uh, we're gonna fight Erica. We have, so the current plan is to get Raiders Fan to at least level 40. So he can help us take down Brock. Um, so Brock's actually gonna be kind of, be kind of a pain. For one very good reason. It's because he has Kabutops and he has Omastar. I think the rest of his Pokemon are basically non-threatening, but he has two Pokemon that are water, um, water rock. So the only thing that would really hurt them is a steel type, and we don't have any steel types. I think we have a steel type move, so maybe I'll see if someone can learn it. Um, I think I'll give them that move if they can. Uh, let's go nuts. Uh, but we'll deal with that soon. I think the- I checked to see what order would you want to fight the gym leaders in. My main fear was if I went to go fight Sabrina, she would completely whip my ass. Uh, thankfully, Sabrina is, um... What's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Sabrina is not too tough. The main tough people are gonna be the last two, which is Blaine and, um... Blaine and Blue, I believe is his name in this game. AKA Gary. I always called him Gary, even though in the game he's not called Gary. Wow, these these girls are packing. Dang. Victory Bell and a Vile Plume. This these two girls are crazy strong. They're dead, but strong. Crit. Nice job, Nox. So yeah, that's what's uh, today's plan. 69 nice. Um, so that's today's plan, is that Raiders fan is, in theory, going to be strong enough to eventually beat, um, uh, uh, Brock. So, let's, well, let's hope for it. So let's go. Dum, 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 dum. So we're going to be fighting Erica today. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. Executor. Raider Fan's getting up there in levels, though. He might be able to start fighting by himself pretty soon, and once he's actually able to start fighting by himself, um, he'll be a little bit stronger. Does that, did that make sense? Yes. No. Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb. You're my Egg Bomb. Sex Bomb. Fantastic song. Not to be confused with the bomb, with the band Sex Bomb. Bomb. From Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Which is great. If you've never read the books, the. I guess they're technically comics, but they're built in the style of a manga book, but they are a comic. Um, it's so good. I love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. There's uh, seven books from what I remember. Um, I can't remember the name of all of them. I could at the time. Scott Pilgrim's Sad Little Life, I believe, is one of them. Uh, damn. Skip Loom. Skip to my loom, my darling. Ah, okay. Let me see if I can find the actual name of those couple more books. One moment. This is gonna bug me that I don't remember. I know it's Sad Little Life. I think it's Scott Pilgrim Grows Up. I think the name of the fourth book is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Or the last book. It's one of the two. Um, let me see. Ba -da. Oh, they're graphic novels. The Scott Pilgrim series. There you go. Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life. That was the name of the first one. Uh, Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It was a second book. There you go. Scott Pilgrim and the Infinite Sadness, Scott Pilgrim Gets It Together, Scott Pilgrim vs. the Universe, and Scott Pilgrim's Finest Hour. Fantastic book series. I loved reading them. There's a lot of stuff in it that the, the movie never touches, which is fair enough. Um, I remember being pretty happy with them making a movie and then being kind of not disappointed. Disappointed is not the right word, but kind of like, oh man, they could have done so much. Because if I remember right, when they were filming the movie, they didn't know the ending to the book. Um, and so they picked an ending, and then they tested it to screening audiences, and the screening audiences did not like it. Uh, which is funny, because I want to say that was what 
Brian Lee O'Malley wanted to be the ending, or something like that, something around it. But what the original ending to the movie I thought was actually better than the actual ending we got, but they ended up changing it to someone else, and it ended up being, I think, it's still good. It's still good, obviously. I just cared more about, it was like a specific decision on a girl, but I guess to the most part it makes sense, like, um, Scott Pilgrim moving on would mean that he would... I don't want to spoil it, because you got to see Scott, no, Scott Pilgrim, but... In one of the endings, one of the girls he went with is not the one people wanted. Because specifically, it's, um... It was not Ramona. Um... Which is the whole reason he fought the seven evil exes. So, people were like, he fought all these people for her, and now he doesn't get with her? It doesn't make sense. Uh... At least in the original ending. Not to say who it gets with. Um, but, oh man, I just realized that now you know who he gets with at the end. Whatever. He's fighting for her, so you know he gets with her, I guess. So heavy spoilers for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, I suppose. I mean, it's been long enough. People should have seen it. Or at least read it. If they had not read it, then they've seen it. But, yeah. He ended up going with someone else. Oh, Erica has a nice little sprite. I think it's a new sprite for her. At least it looks like to me. One eye looks bigger than the other eye, though. Beauty Julia. Send out Paris. Oh, look at this Paris. This level 32 Paris could totally wreck Raider's shop. If I was not careful. Hmm. I mean, there's a distinct possibility of Nux getting his clock cleaned out if I'm not careful. Eat the flame wheel, Paris. Always felt very sad for Paris. Just in general, especially when you learn what happens to poor Paris when he evolves. It's like a it's like a slow bro and slow king situation. Situa it's like a slow bro, a slow poke and slow bro situation, but not as bad. This execute is very good. I don't think I've mentioned it enough times how much I like the spray for execute. Also, the fact that one of the executes is fucking dead. That's really messed up that he carries the corpse of his fallen brother with him at every point. Artisect. With his big ol' hat. This- oh, man. You can't tell because of the sprite, but you can't tell that he's not supposed to have pupils in his eyes. And it actually looks like he has like tiny eyes if you look at it. He looks like super tired. PSN. Won't stop. Nux. Nice. Very nice. Shut up, Julia. How annoying. I gotta have a full heal somewhere in here. Yes, I do. That's right, we need to get the, um, the fishing rod to go get Chitini. Hello, lovely weather. Ooh. And then once we get the... Oh, but we can't go back. Mm. Mm. We have to turn back on the power. We have to remember to do that. We're gonna fight Erica now, by the way. Man, Erica's so pretty. And I'm not saying that just to be creepy. She's a very pretty lady. <laughs> Have you ever get that feeling where you try and say like, oh, this is a very pretty girl, but then because of the way people, um, I guess, dudes, like, like creepy dudes, the way they go like, oh, you're so pretty. They've completely ruined the ability to just say someone is pretty or not. I mean, I guess it's also kind of fucked up, because yeah, I guess you're assuming if you don't tell a girl you think they look pretty, then it's like, well, you don't look very pretty to me today. I don't know. But I think there's a thing to be, like, complimenting. I mean, it's nice to get compliments, but it's, again, a different kind of thought process now, just because too many people ruined it. Too many assholes ruined it for good people, so now we can't do it. Sound familiar? Um, nice. And when assholes ruin stuff, it really sucks. Victory Bell. Die, Victory Bell. I need you to die to my presence. Oh, you got three levels on me. That's actually kind of strong. Uh, I guess not. Can you get burned? Nah. And now you're gonna hit me with your acid reflux. Mm, potentially dangerous. Not anymore. 
How much HP does this damn victory bell have? Apparently I'm not... Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter now. Because it's dead. Bye-bye, Victory Bell. I always wanted as a kid to like Victory Bell more than I do. I feel like I don't like Victory Bell very much. It just looks too dumb. I think I'm willing to admit that the Bellsprout line, line of Pokemon, I think, is just dumb looking. Ooh, Blossom. Hmm. There's no way you know a move that could hurt Nux. I'm just calling it right now. There's no way you know a move that hurts Nux. Unless you know Solar Beam, which would be very unfortunate, because I'm not at full health. Yeah, Pedal Dancing gonna do shit. Not against type, uh, not type effective. Mm, did more than I thought, to be honest. But you're gone, Blossom. You're nothing like Jolene. Even though Jolene is a Blossom. You still don't compare? Get out of my face. Out of my presence. Pheasant. <laughs> the jump left face is real <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I didn't mention it last time, but now that I get a better look at it, it's real stupid. I don't know how to specifically say it. I'm healing just in case this thing knows a really savage move. No, it doesn't. As a kid, when they evaded Leech Seed's fire types, I always assumed it was because they were too hot to handle, so they couldn't be hurt by such moves. Oh shit. Talon wants my QR code. I gotta give it to him. I gotta give the man his QR code for Legends. Okay. I'm recording Pokemon, Talon. I'm sorry. I had to defeat this jump loaf. I defeated this jump loaf. By the way, I got real lucky in Dragon Ball Legends. Real lucky. So lucky I'm gonna start doing videos again. Uh, so if you are a fan of those videos, I hope you like this video. Yay, Rainbow Badge. I also think it's pretty funny that I'm in the YouTube guild and I've changed my name. Now that I'm playing, um, PvP. I always have to start back from rank 1 because I'm so bad at the game. Uh, let me see. Damn it, says it's old. Alright everyone, that's going to be the end of today's episode because Talon needs my help. Till next time everyone, goodbye. <laughs>